got to the hard rock in the heart of Panama, like total urban environment, total urban immersion after having been immersed in the natural side of Panama, I'm really happy that we had the chance to experience like the city life in Panama. We're going to, it's called La Rena Dorada, okay. which means golden frog. It's in the old town, so like Casco, Casco, Casco Vie Viejo. That's, that's the that's, first city in Panama, basically. Yeah. So it was like, I think Casca means compound. Okay. So that was like the military compound that protected the original Panama City. But right in the heart of there, there's this little microbrewery. So we're going to go there, and I guess we're going to learn about how to make beer. So this is the website. How to taste the beer. Qatar, I don't know yeah. exactly what it means. Okay. But it says Paso 1, which is step one. It says appearance, which is the appearance of the beer. Cool. Step two is the aroma, the smell of the beer. And it, tell, it tells you how to do it. Step three, the taste. And step four, enjoy it. It looks so, pretty cool, man. I'm so happy that we get to have internet in this hotel. All free Wi-Fi here. It's been so hype. So the only thing is I see you walking around like this all the time. <laughs> well, sure, but let me ask you a question. What is your, Adi, what is your favorite uh, part of the hotel? My room. Oh, my beautiful. room. What yeah. about the pool? Ooh, you know what is the best part? What? They have music on the water. What? So every time you, you go in the water, the music's still playing. The food, the oh food was God. amazing today, right? I don't think I've ever eaten that much. For sure. Like, ever. I honestly Same. feel like that, like, I've had, like, a crazy sensory mm -hmm. overload from, like, being so visually stimulated by nature and trees and waterfalls and entering the womb of Mother Nature, and now it's, like, City, you're bossing in your oh, hotel yeah. room. You're like, you know, I felt like a, I felt like Jay Z yesterday when I <laughs> I did. I'm just like, okay, I'm throwing my all white. I love this hotel. I think it's amazing, but I need to see what the city is about. Like, I can't wait to get out there today, wander yeah, around the man. old town. Let's do it. Let's, well, go let's get, pound it. Let's go get more beers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know it. It's really an architectural tour. It's a mix of all of the cultures that have been here. You're walking in a street, and then on one side you have the old city, and then on the other side, literally five meters away from the older city, you have the new city. And I find that very interesting because it's a way to compare what Casco Viejo used to be back in the day. It's like two different worlds yeah. in one. This is a really good go. example. Look how beautiful and like restored this building is. Oh, yeah. And then like yeah. look right across the street, right here. Which is uh, one right not so much. <laughs> right? Isn't it crazy though that we're still in the same country, we're still in the same city that we've been in for the last few days, but how different it is? I just want so, you to get a shot of that side, Adi, because yeah? it's beautiful, that oh, this wow. little alley. It's, and it's so romantic. I love it. I love okay. Panama. Car, car. Yeah. Seriously. We're now Sorry. in downtown, obviously. <laughs> So that's our hotel, like right over there, isn't it? Yep, that's our hotel right there. I don't think I told the guys that I actually connected with the brewmaster and I'd connected with him over email before we came because my brother is sort of interested in that world and is thinking about opening a brew pub. So there were a few around town, but this one specializes in beers that have sort of a local flair. Hello, nice to meet you. So you're the man. You are the golden frog. Uh, no, no, I'm not the golden frog. I'm just the master brewer. So tell us about this place. You make your own beer. You know, the whole idea was to make a very comfortable pub. Yeah. And, you know, so people can have a good place to go chill out. Make all the beer in-house for all the locations and make it all right here. Which one is your favorite kind of beer? It's always the one in my hand. And which one is that? Oh, yeah, for sure. So based on your first impressions of us, what would you say that we should start with? Yeah, you should probably have a Blanche. It's a very light, refreshing beer, but it has locally grown citrus peel and some coriander, like a Belgian sourwood beer. It's just like really nice and refreshing. Oh, that is refreshing. Mm, very light. Is it grapefruit? Um, actually, the citrus peel and the coriander give a lot of citrus quality, which yeah. could be grapefruit-like. Can we go back there and see how you Yeah, eat? yeah. Look at this. Sweet! We're about to make some beer. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. Yeah, this is where it happens. Well, basically, you know, beer's got four ingredients. Okay. There's water, malt, Hops and yeast. I'm gonna get you guys to help me take a sample. You can see. Is my face getting red? Is it getting red? Stop it! Stop it! Now just. I'm 
a brewmaster, right? We do. There this is my go. assistant brewmaster. Hello. We're making beer. All right, why don't you grab the other beaker like this? Okay. And How do you want to go get it? so confused. Have you guys been drinking? Uh, <laughs> I do I do the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. This is Addie's chemistry show. Yeah, a couple of times. Okay. I'm, in, I'm in Breaking Bad right now. You can be Walter White. <laughs> but, but, that's the whole thing is I studied chemistry. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I see it. Yeah, you guys can drink that if you want. It's fresh off the fermenter. It's not fully carbonated yet, so you'll get more of the flavor of what's in it. Oh, okay. It kind of tastes the same. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's a serious science to the whole. Well, process. there is, but you know, there's a lot of creativity, and I think that's why I like it because you have the science on one hand, and you have that creativity on the other. And that's the fun part. And it's very, it's that's what's really fun about everything exactly. involved with this. You just okay. drink it. Thanks for helping. She was good. Thanks now for the I think lessons. we probably ought to go out and try and taste some of the holiday beer. Let's that will be amazing. That. The beers that Brad actually makes are really exclusive to Panama. He chooses flavors that are things that you wouldn't really find in beers at home. Before we cheer, so this beer, which kind is it? It's our coconut porter. The coconut one. Before you do that, is there anything special we have to do to taste this? Like So I was going to show you on the pamphlet. One, take a look at the appearance. Appearance. You see this nice brown kind of slightly reddish color to it. You want to try the aroma next because aromatics come off very aromatics. quickly. And then you taste. Mm. What do you get? Oh. Mm. It tastes oh. a little bit like coffee. So the most important four step is enjoy. Of course. So. This fruta. <laughs> this fruta. That's right. <laughs> That's the most important. Well, Cheers. Well done, Cheers. Brad. That's Cheers, Ed. <laughs> this is a drink that I've been drinking for what? I want to say eight years. And I never, never knew how it was made. It never even passed to my brain to know how it was made. But now that I know the process, it's very interesting. I mean, it has a lot of science, and not everybody can just create beer. I personally am not a huge beer drinker. Um, if anything, I like kind of like the light or girly beers. But, um, you know, learning about the process, the intense process behind actually brewing, it made me sort of appreciate the beverage a little bit more. So. I also got a little bit booze, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I looked in the bathroom earlier, my eyes are bloodshot. I got the Asian glow, whatever, okay? It was a good night. And uh, I think we're gonna, you know, cap off the night with a couple more at that bar that Roe found.